There's a song by Sean Mitchell singing. Sometimes we are discouraged, but not defeated. Cast down, but not destroyed. There are times when we don't understand. But how many know this evening that there is a place in God where we realize that we do have faith, that we have to stay in faith. We've all had struggles and disappointment. We can experience the best of us letting us down. Amen? Amen. But we still believe that God is turning it around. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he's turning it around. Yes. What did he say? For me. For me. Amen. 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 So we know that it's through our faith in God's Son, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so my aim tonight is to clear the air, hopefully, concerning our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Why we call on that name? Mm. Amen. Who gave it? Hold on. No, this <laughs> Okay. So that's my reminder call for appointment. <laughs> Praise God. So who gave this name? And so I want us all to understand more. And in understanding more, hopefully we can be closer to God. Amen. Amen. Um, and we are aware that names do have meaning. Amen. Amen. Uh, many today will try to come up with a name for their child. You know, oftentimes a man will say, well, if it's a boy, I'll name him after me. And if it's a girl, we'll name them after you. But they they don't really know what the child will be. I mean, I know they got a device out now that tell you nine times out of ten whether it's a boy or a girl. But that one time messed the nine times up. Because all that baby gotta do is turn a certain way and you can't see nothing. Amen. Amen. So there is something in the name. I remember Ebony and I went to that appointment for the ultrasound. Childish. <laughs> he was looking. The nurse was looking. And I said, that the ball was right there. <laughs> <laughs> we knew it was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Amen. But this name we're talking about tonight there is all power. Amen. Talking about the name of Jesus. And to speak about Jesus, there's so many facets and principles, amen, concerning amen. his name. So many to speak on that I can't cover all tonight. It'll be a part two. Three, amen. I see. But to help us with the flow of the things of the, uh, the outline tonight. I'm going to cover how is it that Jesus is Savior, Jesus is Lord, and Jesus is King. Come on. All right. And especially if you're taking notes, write down a lot of scriptures I'm going to give out. And, um, our culture, you know, folks are still uh, dealing with the name of Jesus. A lot of folks don't even like to hear his name in public and in public spaces. Amen. And, you know, there are many devils and demons that have tried to destroy his name. Right, right. But I'd like to know what would they use for power. Right. Because Jesus said the other day, all power is given unto me, Amen. both in heaven and in earth. So they can never destroy his name. Name is here to stay. Amen. And they can't succeed, and that is a reality. Amen. So, in spite of that, we do see that the name of Jesus is reduced to mere curse. And oftentimes, even we as believers tend to take his name way more too casually. Amen. The meaning of Jesus. Why God 
God sent his son. Jesus, born in Bethlehem, he grew up in Nazareth, even to fulfill many prophecies, which shall be called a Nazarene. Amen. He was born in the flesh, God with us, born through the womb of a woman, Mary, and his natural father on earth was Joseph. So the question still echoes today. Who is Jesus of Nazareth? Who do men say that I am? The question we ask. Matthew 16, around about the 13th, 14th verse. Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they say, the disciples say, some say thou art John the Baptist. Some Isaiah. And others Jeremiah. Or one of the prophets. He said unto them in verse 15. Of whom say ye that I am? And notice Peter spoke. What was revealed to him by God. Not through his intellect. But he spoke from a revelation revealed to him. He said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Amen. So the meaning of Jesus' name, first of all, before I say that, let's see what God himself said in Luke chapter 3 and 22. Luke 3 and verse 22. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Amen. The meaning of Christ's name, I'm going to give you four meanings. His name translates in the Greek, Yahshua, or if you put a J in front of that, translated in the Hebrew it is Mashiach which is a title for Yeshua HaMashiach which simply means Jesus Savior of the world Yahweh Father God saves or as I said put a J in front of Joshua saves. Amen. So we see the meaning in Jesus' name <coughs> and the purpose. In the Old Testament, Yahweh told his people he would send the Mashiach to rescue or save his people, deliver his people, and make everything right and destroy evil. Jews looked forward to the arrival of this Jewish hero, but rejected their Yeshua. Right. Hamashiach. Because they expected somebody different. Instead of a soldier, Yeshua was a servant. Instead of being a mighty king, Yeshua died on the cross. Amen. So he was rejected and despised. Among men. The Jews did not recognize Yahweh's of God's plan for Yeshua as Savior. So all who believe in him, even up to now, are saved by the death on the cross, him coming back from the dead, and now Jesus rules in heaven, seated at the right hand of God. Let's go to Matthew 1. So I'm going to give you four meanings from those titles in Jesus' name. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Matthew 1, 21 says, Thou shalt call his name Jesus. Remember, Jesus is translated out of the Greek. You put a J in front. 
tell there's no J's in the other alphabet. Mm -hmm. But we do have a J. Mm -hmm. Amen. So for all us English speaking people, <laughs> it's perfectly acceptable to call on that name. Amen. And you know when you call on Jesus' name, things happen. Amen. 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 Demons still tremble. If you say it in English, you better. If you say it in Hebrew. If you say it in Greek. Still shake it. Amen. And they got to submit it to the name of Jesus. Amen. His name shall be called Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Luke 2, verse 11. We read about his birth. Luke chapter 2, verse 11. For unto you is born this day in the city of David. Savior, mm -hmm. which is Christ the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, Messiah or Savior and Christ the Lord, connecting him with deity, <coughs> deity because he is God. <coughs> Amen. And and second, secondly, the Christ, meaning God's anointed one. Okay. Come on. And thirdly. Lord, meaning all supremacy. Right. Master. Mm -hmm. We read from the scripture Adonai in the Greek. Master. We call him Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Lord. So God saves through his appointed one. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Let's go to Isaiah 61. Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the broken heart, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint them that mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaven, and that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Amen. Amen. And we know that when Jesus went into the temple, as he began to start his earthly ministry, he opened the book and read that scripture from the prophet Isaiah. And he said, today this is fulfilled in your ears. Amen. And so we see that Jesus came to save us in way more ways than just one. Mm -hmm. Amen. The broken heart. Amen. Set us free from those, those dark prisons. Amen. Set us free from sin. Amen. Amen. And so In the Old Testament, now what I said the flow was, I said we're going to flow like this. I said we're going to see Jesus in the prophetic in the Old Testament. Three things. Second, we're going to see Jesus as Lord. And third, we will see Jesus as King. Amen. Okay, so let's go to the Old Testament. Because Jesus, you can take the Old Testament and preach Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. What happened in the book of Acts when the, the Ethiopian eunuch was on his way to Jerusalem? Yeah, he was, he was black. Praise God. Black people way back. Amen. We stand tall. We stand proud. Amen. 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 But he was in the in his chariot reading out of Isaiah. 
that he was he was chastised, he was bruised, he was, he was broken, he was rejected, and despised for men. And he couldn't figure it out. He was like, he had questions. But God sent his disciple, his apostle Philip, and preached at the same scripture, Jesus, that it's one God, one faith, and mm -hmm. one baptism. Amen. And the Ethiopian man said, is he talking about himself or is he talking about another man? <laughs> when he preached to him, Jesus, from the Old Testament, to the and he was, he was converted. That man was converted. He got so excited, he said, here goes some water over here. What do it hinder me from being baptized? Amen. Amen. My God. Jesus, in the prophetic, in the Old Testament, Amen. So, one of the scriptures we just read in Isaiah 61, that was for Peter. Isaiah chapter 61. Amen. Amen. Uh, we can go further than that. Mm -hmm. The book of Genesis 3 mm -hmm. and 15. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because remember what God said to the serpent? If you're going to bruise, Mm -hmm. The woman's seed. Mm -hmm. But her seed is going to crush and bruise your head. Mm -hmm. That was prophetic, describing Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Coming to earth with us. Isaiah mm -hmm. 9 and 6. For unto us a child is born. Isaiah 9 and 6. Mm -hmm. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God. Amen. The Everlasting Father. Amen. See, it's a mystery. People try to figure out how are all three one. Yet it's describing Jesus, the Prince of Peace. It's describing him as the Everlasting Father, the Mighty God, Wonderful Counselor, everything in one. We see more of the prophetic in Isaiah chapter 42. Start at verse 1. In Isaiah 53. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor commonness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of him, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. Amen. He was bruised for our iniquity. Amen. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. That's and right. With his stripes, we are healed. That's right. All we like sheep are going to spray. Amen. We have all turned <coughs> to his own way, and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. And yet they led him as a lamb. Led him from judgment to judgment. Amen. Jesus in the Old Testament. Prophetic. Now I know I said Genesis 3. But we can go further than that. Because Genesis 1. Amen. Genesis 1 and 1 says, in the beginning. Mm -hmm. God. But if you look up God in the Hebrew. All three are one. So who is who is talking? Let us make man mm -hmm. in our image, after our likeness. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, God. So Jesus was part of the creation. In the beginning, God created. And Saint John said, "What? John one and one. In the beginning." was the Word. The Word was, and it was with. 
Done. Amen? Amen? Glory to God. Amen. So that's the first. We see Jesus in the prophetic. Now the second one, as we flow this outline, is we learn that Jesus, that he is Lord. All right. Amen. Um, They break the councils of the elders and gather together. Eventually, they started to question Christ. They said, Tell us, tell us who you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. Eventually, he went before Pilate. Jesus answered, I tell you, if I tell you, you will not believe me. Mm -hmm. And if I ask you, you would not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of God. They all asked, Are you then the Son of God? He replied, You are right in saying that I am. Amen. Luke 22, verse 66 through 71. <coughs> then they said, do we need any more testimony? Uh -huh. He's making this stuff up to be God. Or one with God. Uh -huh. So eventually they, they led up to the charges of blasphemy. Uh -huh. It was all they had. Still, after all of that, Pilate could find no problem. Uh -huh. And you know, Amen. Pilate was in trouble with the Jews time after time. He Amen. Was only a pawn. He was uh -huh. placed in that place. Them by uh -huh. You know, riots broke out, and they, they surely didn't want a riot to break out at this point. Uh -huh. And Pilate was was unnerved. He was getting uneasy in this in this uh, in this case. His wife even warned him the day before. Uh -huh. She said, "Have nothing to do with this just man." Many things in the dream. Amen. So, I'm going to read John 18, around about verse 30. Mm -hmm. Where we at in the flow? We're seeing what Jesus is Lord. Mm -hmm. okay. Jesus has dealt with the high priest, he's dealt with the council. Now he stands before, he dealt with Pilate. Now he stands before Pilate. <coughs> Pilate really didn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. He couldn't find no fault. In and the term used in the Greek here. Pilate got so afraid, it was as it's like a, a phobia. You're so scared that you run. You ready to get out. But he couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Because of the people. He feared the people. Mm -hmm. And he feared his place, his position. Amen. And so Pilate asked him, uh, verse 30, Luke 18 and 30. They answered and said unto him, If he were not a malefactor, he would not have delivered him up unto thee. Amen. So then said Pilate unto them, Take him and judge him according to your law. Mm -hmm. The Jews was like, uh -uh. And the Jews said unto him, It's not lawful for us to put any man to death. Mm -hmm. Y'all got to do it. Right. Y'all Romans. That the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled. He said, signifying what death he might be. Verse 33 Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again. Called Jesus. And said unto him, Are thou a king? Jesus answered him, Say 
is thou this thing with thyself and with others instead of a few of me? I would answer, Am I the truth? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom was of this world, then my servants would fight. Mm -hmm. That I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from him. I would ask thee, Art thou a king? Verse 37. Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. For this end I was born, and for this cause came I into the world, mm -hmm. that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth. I was just figuring that you get into his superstition like that. Because you know the Greeks influenced the Romans a lot. Greek culture, Greek mythology, Zeus and all these all these gods. And do the Greeks consider maybe he is one of the sons of a god that came down from heaven? His life is in my hand. Pilate said, What is true? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews, and said unto them, I find no fault at all. And what did they say? They weren't happy. They wanted to release Barabbas. We go to the next chapter, chapter 19. It's when they begin to scourge him, let him out. So well, Jesus testified many times that he was Lord. And we know that he was Lord because not only that, but he demonstrated what? Power over nature. He demonstrated power over the demonics, casting demons out. Demonstrated power over sickness, over disease. It's found in one reference scripture there, Matthew chapter 8, verse 16. And when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits and healed all that were sick. Amen. So in the Greek, the word Lord is master. Matthew 6, 24. So in the New Testament, the translation, we see that Jesus describes himself as Lord, meaning Kyrios. Translated in English as Lord. And so the main point is that we see Lord used as a divine Amen. Of Jesus Christ. And so in this sense, it occurs more than 600 times in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And yet today, if we, do, if we do not confess him as Lord, Come on. where is the salvation? Come on. Amen. All right. Romans yeah. 10 and 9 tells us we have to confess. Mm hmm. Better be over there taking notes. And finally, kingship. Mm -hmm. Jesus is our king. Amen. Reference scriptures. John 1 51. In that passage, we see Nathaniel confessing who Jesus is. Second John. And he said unto him, Very, very, I 
blessing of you. Hereafter, you shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Daniel had a revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. And after, uh, and after that, Jesus said, going to have more revelation because you believe in me. Matthew 25, 31. Matthew 25, 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then he shall sit upon the throne of his glory. Mm -hmm. You can't have a king without a throne. You can't have a king without having dominion mm -hmm. over the area, over a region, mm -hmm. over territory. Amen. Amen. St. John 18, 30 through 36. We just read it out. And Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. He said, if it was, my servants would fight. Matthew chapter 22, verse 42. Mm -hmm. Matthew 22, verse 42. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, What think ye, what think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, the son of David. Mm -hmm. He said unto them, How then do David in the Spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand till I make thy enemies thy footstool. Mm -hmm. If David call him Lord, mm -hmm. how is he his son? Mm -hmm. And no man was able to answer him. Neither durst any man from that day forward ask him any more questions. And that's one title I would have loved to come for the sake of time. Hold it for the next time. Amen. The title of Son of Man. Amen. But he is king. He's our king. Amen. And he has a kingdom. Mm hmm. But did you not know that God, the Father, gave him this kingdom? Come on. Let's go to Daniel chapter 4. I'm sorry. That is one, that's one scripture reference. Daniel 10, verse 3, 5 through 6. And we're actually going to read right now Daniel 7, 13. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Daniel 7, Old Testament. Daniel 7. Everybody say amen. Mm -hmm. It's a vision that Daniel is seeing. He said, I saw in the night visions, and the whole one like who? Mm -hmm. You got it? 7 13. The Son of Man. Came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory, praise God, and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting. We shall not pass away. And his kingdom is that which shall not be destroyed. Christ the King. Amen. Now in Daniel chapter 10, that's another reference scripture. Chapter 10, verse 3.
here is Old Testament. Daniel chapter 10, verse 3. You have it until the end. Glory to God. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three, four weeks. See, I ate no bread, neither came flesh or wine in my mouth, neither did I anoint myself at all, all three weeks still. And then the four and twentieth day, the first month, as I was by the side of the great river, which is Hittikel, then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen. Now here's another one where you want to put a cover on on Jesus. What does it matter? Amen. We read all people, all kindreds, all tongues, all nations. Amen. So what color is it right here? He said, uh, lifted up my eyes and looked at the and behold a certain man clothed in linen whose loins were girded with fine gold of Ukraine. His body was like bread. And his face has the appearance of light, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color as of polished brass, and the voice of his words like the voice of thunder. We're talking about a king. We're talking about God. Amen. We're not talking about man. Amen. Man, who do we serve? Mm -hmm. Why do we give him? Mm -hmm. Why is he worthy? Why do we Amen. call him his name? Amen. Because he is Lord of all. Mm -hmm. Jesus is Lord. Glory to God. And in Acts chapter 4 and 12, we read that neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And in all of this, in all of this, and I'm closing now, in all of this, he loved us. As great as he is, as mm -hmm. powerful as he is, we see his messiahship, his lordship, his deity, his kingship. We see him being prophesied hundreds of years before he was born. He sit high mm -hmm. at the right hand of God. And yet he has to touch his mind. And all of, all of this and all these things, he, he still loves us. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. That's another one. God. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, he loves you. He loves you. Jeremiah 31, three. That is God. Jeremiah 31, three. Tells us that God promised us with the everlasting life. Mm hmm St. John 13 and 1. I just got to confess that that's how it's written. John 13 1, St. John 13 and 1. In all of this, God loves us. This is why we go crazy in the sanctuary. Amen. What are the applications of all of this? I'll tell you it's a part two. This is just laying the foundation of of some of the titles and who Jesus is and the meaning of his name. But the applications is personal. Why do we shout? Why do we pray? Why do we pray? Why do we are a witness to others? Why are we telling people that Jesus is the greatest man? Amen. St. John 13 and 1. And now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should are out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world. He loved us to the end. Isn't that great? He loved them to the end. Amen, amen, amen. God has an everlasting love for us. And he even prayed for us. Lord, Lord, Lord. Hallelujah.
calls us free. In all of this, he calls us free. Amen? And what a friend we do have. Ain't that right? Mm-hmm. All our sins mm-hmm. and griefs to bear. Mm-hmm. What a privilege mm-hmm. it is to carry mm-hmm. everything to God mm-hmm. in prayer. Is you about to, is you about to say? Jesus is mine. Oh, well, come oh, on, hymns. Gotta come out with this hymn, but We have the greater. Down on the inside. Greater is he that is in us. Than he that is in the world. Let's be encouraged. Let us draw nearer to God. Amen. <clears throat> Take that word. Take those cross-reference scriptures. Dig deeper. And I pray that you Amen. Wow.